welcome back to my channel it is ruthie here and i'm back with another video today i am going to be blowing my hair out as you can see i've just washed it trying to towel dry it and i'm going to be testing out a new hair tool so the tool that i'm going to be trying out today is the timo air hype okay get into it look how beautiful it looks i think this is supposed to be comparable to the dyson blow dryer that has kind of been popular out and about in the streets but i ain't got about 400 plus dollars to spend on a hair tool so i want to try this out and see if it works as well as the dyson air app is promised to work let's do a quick unboxing look to see what's in the package and get into hair drying i do want to thank taimu for sending me this product and sponsoring this video in order to try out this product and let you guys know my thoughts on it okay so on here it says that this is a high performance blow dryer with high speed airflow um it has an elegant design which i do agree with look how beautiful that looks and then it also says it has multiple styling nozzles so let's see about them this is what comes in the package i'm assuming this is like an instruction manual that we're probably not going to use because we can figure it out right um it comes with a diffuser cool i don't think i own a diffuser so that's perfect um if i want to try out a wash and go anytime soon that'll be perfect it comes with a comb attachment and then it also comes with a concentrating noz nozzle I have a feeling I'm gonna be using these two today. And then of course the dryer is right here. Look at the design of that. It looks so sleek. It's not too heavy. Um, it looks easy to pack up. I guess if you wanted to travel with it, like this will go very easily into your um, suitcase or whatever you're using to travel with. So let's get this plugged in and going. So there's a display on here that tells you when it's off. And then I'm assuming that when you turn it on, the temperatures are going to show here. This is the on and off button. Child, let me read the manual. <laughs> on the other side here, you have up top is the airflow control. And then on the bottom is a cool shot button. And then this is the air filter. You guys, I'm about to turn it on. And if you hear, listen to like how fast the air sounds. Do you hear that? Golly. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the comb attachment. Let's see if it's, oh, and it's magnetic. So it just kind of attaches on its own like that. It's magnetic, that's really cool. Let's go ahead and part my hair. It's freshly washed. I just had a silk press, so I made sure to reinstill some protein and some strength all up in this thing, honey, okay? <laughs> I'm a little nervous, guys, I'm a little nervous. So my hair is damp. It has been towel dried. We're gonna start with the front section. Oh geez, see, thick hair problems. <laughs> thick hair problems. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by applying some of this Taimu Smoothing and Nourishing Hair Oil that Taimu um, provided me. I don't want it to be weighed down with oil, so I'm only gonna do a little bit, two pumps per section, and then I'm gonna split this section into a smaller section. Okay, so we're gonna be working with this, and I'm gonna just comb it through with my detangling brush which i already did in the shower but that was just for reinforcements and now we're gonna start testing this out so the comb got stuck in there was a knot there that i need to comb out so one thing i would say is your hair needs to be <laughs> really detangled and because this attaches by magnet you could see it was almost coming off the thing let's try it again
that is actually pretty impressive. Do y'all see that? Okay, so I'm gonna twist it up and then do the second section. this section and then give you guys an update on how I feel about how the tool is working with my hair so is blown out look at the movement look at the body i'll have to say this tool really did a good job of blowing my hair out like that the speed on this thing <laughs> the speed on this thing is magnificent it's great i actually really love this tool and i think it'll be a staple especially if i need to do um like a protective style i need my hair stretched i need to do it quick this will be my go-to thing the only <laughs> the only thing that i have to complain about and this could probably just be like you know just feedback from a user an end user is where these buttons are placed on the tool um on the back i do like that it's a switch i have to push it up to turn it on but these buttons that control how fast the air blows out and also controls the 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 heat the temperature of the air they're push buttons. And so as I'm holding on to this and trying to comb through my hair and blow it out, my hands are pushing on the bot buttons and changing the temperature and changing the speed that, um, that I'm using. I prefer using medium speed and medium heat. So as I'm pushing these buttons, it's changing it to high heat, it's changing it to low speed, it's like changing up the setting that I prefer to use. So I would say that that's the only complaint I have about the design of the product. But as far as the product itself and how well it works for my hair, I think that it's fantastic, it's fabulous. So I'm gonna continue working on this side of my hair. As you can see, it's already trying to shrink off my ah, kilo day, um, so that I can just have it done and ready for my protective style that I plan to do after I finish blowing it out. I'm done blowing out my hair this is the final result okay so let me give you my final thoughts on the tool after getting through the rest of my hair so again I really love the design I really love how sleek and like I don't know it's like futuristic high speed this thing works like this like it doesn't really take a long time for me to get through each sections which each section which I love. The heat settings, I like that it gives you three different heat settings. So there's like a really cool 80 degree, then there's a 140 degrees, and then the highest is 210. So nothing too crazy, okay? So if you're worried about heat damage and all that, you do have options there. And you can really rely on the speed of the blow dryer rather than the heat to get your hair done. So you don't have to add excess heat um, to be able to complete the look. I really love this display guys I think that's just like the coolest part so you get to read it and like know like okay um let me give you an idea you see that Ooh. this is the lowest speed let me show you what the highest speed looks like see that um so three fan speeds three heat speeds 
it's wonderful you get the display screen where you can read and like you keep track of without having to check and like wonder where you're at it's all right here um so those are the pros it's time saving it's a very powerful tool you can have and use low temperatures if you desire um it lengthens the hair and it's a very compact design so it's easy to travel with easy to move around with easy to store um so it's it's great in that sense as i mentioned before my only complaint is the placement of these buttons and the fact that they are buttons instead of a dial or something else so when you're using it and trying to get through each section you're accidentally changing the settings that you already preset the dryer to be at the other thing that I haven't mentioned yet is this attaches, the comb attachment attaches via magnet, okay? So if your section is not thoroughly detangled and the comb gets stuck or like snags at a knot, the magnet kind of, it lifts up like that. You see that? Um, so it doesn't come off completely. It just kind of moves out of the way a little bit so i think that might affect how the dryer is being um applied or how the air is being applied to your hair so just keep that in mind to always have a detangling tool nearby to make sure each section is fully detangled before trying to go through with the comb attachment as i mentioned also you have the option to just use a regular um nozzle um like this and use a brush in another hand but this is just much more convenient and then again you do have the diffuser if you want to go for a different style using this dryer so those are all my thoughts on this tool would you guys try this let me know in the comments down below have you tried it already what are your thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i hope to see you in my next one which is probably going to be styling this hair guess down below what i'm going to be doing next you probably won't guess it because I don't do it a lot. So we'll see. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.